Hello and welcome to EJ Bits. Here we have the Petrus PE7620 Air Fryer. So this is a 2 liter air fryer you can purchase on Lazada Mall. The price is on screen as well as the link is in the description down below. This video will have of course the unboxing experience which is a 10 out of 10. It came in lots of bubble wrap, no broken pieces here. We also have what's in the box. We will have 3 cooking tests as well as within the video I'll be sharing with you some safety tips, some care tips and things you need to know to get started using this product right here. So again, this is an air fryer and a few things that are special about it is that it has, as you can see here, glass. This is going to be your cooking vessel and what's amazing about this glass is it's very thick. And this handle right here, it's a baked light handle so it's made of plastic but it's really nice to handle. You know, it's not super hot when, you know, the glass gets hot. There's a warning here. Make sure to remove this sticker before you use it, but just make sure not to touch the hot part, which is the glass. This is the actual air fryer unit. We can see that it is very small, and this is really used for one to two servings, great for condo living, as well as small apartments. So here, another thing special about this is it has a carbon heating tube. So instead of, you know, your regular heating tubes found in other air fryers, which is made of stainless steel, here we have carbon. You see that black coil right there? That's where the heat comes from. It turns on and off and really you have your fan it's a very big fan down below and we now move on to the actual panel so you have three controls plus minus and the on off button you have some legends here the timer is available from 0 to 60 minute settings for example french fries takes 10 to 15 minutes you know the chicken wing takes 10 to 15 minutes you know a baked potato would be 30 to 35 and those are your controls. I will be showing you how to use this product later, so stay tuned until the end of the video. Again, three cooking tests. And here we have the actual grill mesh type. This is made of stainless steel. As you can hear, and this is used to help promote that air circulation. This is made of glass. Very, very thick glass. It's also very easy to clean based on my experience. And also this handle is very, very good. So good construction, very hefty build, and it's also very sturdy based on my experience. So that's going to be a 10 out of 10 for build quality, in my opinion. Now we move on, of course, to putting the grill mesh inside of the glass basket. And this will promote airflow. That's because the air will pass through between the mesh and cook your food from beneath, above, and 360 degrees according to the product listing. When we insert the glass basket, we can see that it moves around. This means that you were able to see your food cooking. It prevents burning as well as you really get to see the top part is made of plastic. Overall build quality for me, that's going to be a 10 out of 10. Especially for the glass basket, I really appreciate the glass build quality. You're able to see no non-stick coating or anything. And now we are ready to start our preheating process just to preheat the glass basket. When you click the minus sign, it will subtract 1 from the timer. If you click the plus button, it will add 5 minutes to the timer. So that's how it works. And this is going to go on for 5 minutes just so that we preheat. That's also part of, you know, in the instruction manual, it says there to preheat your air fryer 5 minutes. And now, you will hear multiple beeps once the timer is finished. We are ready to move on to our first cooking test, which is kikyam. If you're familiar with kikyam, it's a popular Filipino street food. And we can see here that it's shiny. That's because of, you know, a slight brushing of olive oil. Just a very slight brushing of olive oil, just to promote that browning, to make things crispy and toasty. We insert the glass basket into the air fryer. And 15 minutes. It's really easy to use, of course. When it comes to the time, you can easily just turn it off depending if it's going to burn or not. We can see some time-lapse footage here. And here we have the 10-minute mark kickyam. One of the limitations of this product right here is that you cannot control specifically what temperature you want to cook at. So according to their promotional materials here, the carbon heating tube heats at upwards of 200 degrees Celsius. So that's really hot. Unfortunately, you cannot really control that temperature, but that's totally fine since it means you have maximum heating output all the time. We can see some more footage here of the kikyam growing to a very, very good size. We can see some oil drippings as well. But now, here's our final product. So after 15 minutes, little to no oil. If you don't want to use oil, don't need to use oil. So that's up to you. And we can hear that it is crispy. Personally, we can see some, you know, hot spots. We have some toasted bits and some not so, but still it's cooked inside. 
very very good you know it usually takes 15 minutes also to cook using you know a deep fryer situation so this is really good you know probably saves a bit of time as well as some cleaning really easy to clean next up we have our preheating process again and this is going to be preheating for another five minutes of course we are now moving on to our potato wedges take a look at these potatoes one to two servings so this is going to be you know two small potatoes peeled and chopped into these potato wedge shapes also brushed with slightly you know, just a little bit of olive oil just to promote the browning we move on to this part of the cooking process one five 15 minutes total for the potato fries or potato wedges or potato chips we are waiting for this timer to go have a look at some time-lapse footage and you know just make sure to really watch your food when it cooks or you can also take a look at the instruction manual it has here your operating instructions as well as the recommended time to cook so this is half time 10 minutes again we are just shaking it around and just making sure that everything is cooked by the way these potatoes are straight from raw so they are not pre-cooked or anything we can see that the carbon heating tube turns on and off. That's really part of the process to maintain its internal temperature. We can see some oil drippings again, which means that we used less oil than a deep fryer, which is our goal when it comes to cooking in an air fryer. Again, we still have some hot spots. Take a look at the crispy bits in our potato wedges, but that's totally normal. And we are now ready for the actual eating test, you know, to see and taste if it is crispy. So this Petrus air fryer, again, two liters, Really good for one to two servings. I could have put more potato, but we just used two small potatoes since that's what I have available. So thanks to this air fryer, we have really easy cleaning. We are able to see and make the cooking process fun by seeing the progress inside. We have four pieces of chicken flats, so chicken wings, and we are turning it on. It says in the instruction manual that the chicken wings usually takes, you know, 15 minutes to cook and we are going to test that with a thermometer so again cooking temperature for chicken 75 degrees celsius and we can see that you know the chicken skin turns brown a little bit crispy and we have our thermometer check the video above and here we can see that it goes past 75 degrees celsius which is good still which means that you know the chicken wing is still juicy since it's a dark meat but you know it's really cooked inside and we have a nice brown skin, just a little bit more cooking time, just to make sure that we have even browning as well as, you know, a crispy skin as much as possible. So total cooking time for this one is 15 minutes, just the front part and another five minutes for this bottom part. So what do I have to say about this air fryer? Again, this is the Petrus PE7620 and overall rating for this one, it's going to be a 9 out of 10. I wished it cooked more food, but again, this is two liters. You really get what you pay for. In your first few uses, you get the whole value of the product. Really good. I really recommend this one, especially for condo living and small apartments. Really crispy food that comes out of this device. And again, Lazada Mall, so you can return it after 30 days if anything goes wrong. The link of this one is in the description down below. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe, and also turn on notifications. This November and December, we will have lots and lots of video reviews. So stay tuned for that. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.